Hi, Todd Gorn here in the Forecast Center with an update on the rather soggy weather that we have across the Oracle Tex again today. You can see a view of uh, the Oracle Tex early this afternoon along with some radar showing you the scattered showers which are gradually spreading towards the north. Where it has rained, temperatures are in the 70s. Where it hasn't rained yet, temperatures are in the 80s right now. And uh, moving forward, uh, we are still watching that same disturbance, which is uh, sitting across the southern plains. You can see the upper level winds coming from the Gulf of Mexico. That's pretty much the, the case at the surface as well. Upper level high pressure is gradually going to expand and cover basically the southern and western sections of the country here by the time we get to the first of next week and that will bring an end to this uh, rather soggy pattern that we've had here during the past several days. Robin's turning to Futurecast shows that the rain will decrease once again this evening across the area but as was the case late last night we'll see more scattered showers develop late tonight mainly over the southern half of the area that activity will spread to the north and to become more scattered during the afternoon tomorrow it will decrease tomorrow evening and then tomorrow night once again we'll see new areas of showers maybe a few thunderstorms develop late and again the chance for that scattered shower thunderstorm will continue through saturday and saturday evening although it does appear as if the coverage of the rain will begin to decrease some uh, com basically tomorrow compared to today, Saturday compared to tomorrow, and the same goes for Sunday compared to Saturday, as we'll see a gradual decrease in those rainfall chances as we go through uh, the weekend. As far as additional rainfall, here's the latest from Futurecast. It shows that amounts uh, basically Interstate 30 and points to the south and east. Many locations will not see much at all, but we will see scattered locations that pick up one to over two inches of additional uh, rainfall across the area. Here's the HRRR showing pretty much the same thing. Again, the chance for the heaviest rain, the highest over the southeastern sections of the area. So here's that disturbance, which as of right now is situated very close to the Arklatex, as you can see here. Here's the upper level ridge, which is going to expand towards the west. Uh, we'll see this feature gradually move to the north here as we go into Saturday. Now, as we go into the beginning of next week, you can see the that uh, weakness in the atmosphere filling in as upper level high pressure takes over. That will dry us out and create a rather hot week next week as temperatures will warm into the mid to upper 90s. We will see this disturbance here uh, give us a shot. It will break down the ridge maybe enough to give us a chance for some rain next weekend, uh, but the jury is still out as to the extent of that chance and how much rain we might see. Uh, that far out. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. Uh, we will see a mostly cloudy sky. Again, the rain that we have today will decrease this evening. More showers will try to redevelop over the south late tonight. Lows again will be in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Tomorrow, expect a mostly cloudy sky. Temperatures will stay well below normal. Again, uh, scattered showers and thunder showers uh, will be uh, a good possibility pretty much anywhere across the Arklatex as everything will gradually shift to the north and become more scattered tomorrow afternoon and we'll continue with a decent shot for some rain both Saturday and Sunday but notice the slight warm-up mid to upper 80s this weekend mid 90s return with some sunshine Monday and eventually some upper 90s on the way by the middle part of next week our next chance of rain once we close this weekend will likely hold off until next weekend so again our cool and rather wet weather pattern will continue through this weekend and then it's back to typical late July early August weather as we go through most of next week.